It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right. So sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it. And right now you got it too. Enjoy another outstanding audio clip from our international guest list brought to you by UR Link, print and media. Featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole, on People of Distinction. And on the line with us today, we have C. DeAndre Smith. We'll be discussing his fantastic book, The Customer's Always Right, available for purchase through Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com. But if you guys want to get everything that Andre has to offer, listen, do yourself a favor and go directly to his personal site, PenTheTailPublishing.com. That's P-E-N-T-H-E-T-A-L-E publishing.com. There, not only will you find more information on Andre himself, find more information on this book as well as find hyperlinks set up to take you to the purchasing page. So one more time, that's penthetailpublishing.com. Andre was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by some of the best movers in the business. You are Link Print and Media Publishing. So if you have a book that you'd like moved, do yourself a favor and contact our good friends over at URLink. And you can find out more information on them at URLinkPublishing.com. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Utilizing your experience working at the location that you worked, as I stated before and as you've already started to go into, when it comes to sexuality, there's all these stigmas that are placed upon it by Mm -hmm. society. Now, what were you able to learn from your time working at the adult shop that helped maybe change your own views about sexuality? I realized that a lot of my views that I had about others were, was really how I viewed myself. And that mm. tends to be true with a lot of things where they'll say things that you may not like about another person or things you really don't like about yourself. And I also learned earlier before I even well as actually while I was working at the shop down in San Diego we have a a tantra community that's very big here and basically it teaches you all about energy which is what I'm about I'm very much about energy a person's vibe a person's energy and I started to realize that it wasn't so much male female that defined person it was a masculine or feminine energy because everyone gives off a different energy and it can be, some people's energy can be quiet, some people can be more aggressive, some can be warm, some can be cold. And that's a big part of attraction, is the energy that a person gives off, the vibe that they give off. And I learned to accept, especially with males, because in Chicago with men, and you may know this as well, to look at a man eye to eye, where I'm from in Chicago, it, it's saying something. It's like, what are you looking at? Mm-hmm. So it's either you stare too long, we're going to have a problem, you know, or if you are staring too long, it means something else, which is you're attracted to me. And that's another problem because growing up from in my era, you know, gay, it was, it was a very homophobic era in time, of course. which was like the 80s and the 90s. And the music was very homophobic. And so that's kind of in my mind how I saw it. I would go to the shop. And I remember I would have problems even sorting through gay videos, looking at men like that, because it was just something in my mind that just wasn't wasn't right. And funny enough, I started to meet more gay men and I just started to develop these relationships, like friendships with them. And they were very genuine, very funny, very cool to be around. And I realized that the programming I had about gay men was completely wrong you know that they are their men their preferences and their sexuality may be different from mine but that doesn't mean it's wrong it just means it's different you know what's wrong for one person may be wrong for someone else and who am i to say or think that the way another person conducts their life if it's not harmful to another person or themselves that it's not right and to this day i have very close relationships with men who are gay that have come in the shop. I have close relationships with a lot of people, but, you know, I just, I learned to literally judge people by who they are, not 
what they identify as, you know, male, female, or what they're born as, which is the sex they were born. Because there's a difference between, you know, sex and gender. Your sex is what you're born as, you know, male, X, Y chromosome, testosterone, penis, you're a male. Female, XX chromosome, estrogen, vagina, you're a female. Your gender is a social construct, which is set apart by society and rules and behaviors. And it's solely about how you identify yourself. And it's independent of your physical body. This is something I didn't even know about. So I was educated on these things working there. And it caused me to reanalyze and reassess my values and my beliefs in a good way. It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right, so sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it and look forward to enjoying other outstanding audio clips from our international guest list brought to you by UR Link. Print and media featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction. <laughs>